gotten to the binomial distribution, everybody's favorite distribution. All right, so I'm going to give an example here. Um, I have Amber, some random person, has a weighted six-sided die that rolls a six 90% of the time. She rolls the die four times. Explain why this is a binomial experiment, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so later on, I want you to tell me what that um, distribution is, and that comes out of the calculator. You could use this big long formula if you wanted to find it. I mean, you learned how to do combinations in chapter 5, but it's not worth it, honestly. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so look, if you're going to roll a die four times, how many sixes could you get? You could get no sixes, zero. You could get one six, two six, three six, four six. The most you could get is all four of them sixes, okay? Now, what do we type in the calculator? That's the question, because the calculator will do this for us. So let me show you. Oops, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller so you can see. Come here, baby. All right, so do you see above the VARES key? It says D-I-S-T-R. That's a brand new area for us. We've never used it before. So you go second, VARES, D-I-S-T-R. You're getting to the distribution menu, because this is called the binomial what? The binomial distribution, OK? And you want to go down, 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 down. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, look at that. Binome binomial. See them? Now they're not always going to be the same thing. Um, 83's, I believe it's not letter A, it's something else, so just go through your calculator and figure out where it is for you. But in this calculator, T84, it's, it's letter A. So I'm going to pick binomial PDF, P as in puppy. Okay, so grab that one. And it goes N comma P comma X. So N for us, she's tossing a total of four times, comma, P, her chance of success, her chance of getting a 6 is 0.9 because she has a loaded die. If it was a regular 6-sided die, it would be, well, 1 sixth, right, 0.166. X, X is how many I'm interested in, which in this top number is 0. Close parentheses, enter. There you go. 1 e negative 4. Now I know what you're thinking. What the heck is that? Well, remember, e negative 4 means scientific notation. It's really 0. 0.0001, right? You move the decimal spot. The decimal's right here to the right of the 1. You move it 1, 2, 3, 4 spots over and fill in the empty spots with zeros, okay? So it, it went over here. Let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 4 spots. See it over there? Okay. All right, so that's that one. Then you could do it again. And I'm going to be crafty and do the second. No, I'm not going to. I'll do it. Second, distribution. And it was letter A. And since it's so close to the bottom of the list, I'm actually going to go up to get to it. There it is. There it is. 4, comma, point 0.9, comma, 1. Close parentheses. Enter. There's the next one. 0 0.0036. Oh, this is tedious. All right, I can make it faster. Second, enter, and just go back in with my left arrow and type 2. There we go. That's a little faster. Oops, 0, 4, 8, 6. There is another way to do it. Are you ready? You prepared? OK, look, you don't have to type the 2. So let me do it. Second, enter. Let me go back in here, and I'm going to delete the 2. So it's just saying 4, 0.9. If I press Enter, it actually gives them all to me. Look, there's 0. There's 1. Go to the right. There's 2. Go to the right. There's 3. Keep going. There's 4. Oh, but wait, there's more. I could tell it, store that for me. Store that list you just came up with in second L2. Enter. And now if I go to Stat Edit, there they are, right in a column, easy to type. So 0 0.2916 and 0 0.6561. Crafty, huh? All right, so there's L2 already figured out for me. So you can use binome PDF with putting in numbers, but if you don't put in any numbers, it'll give you the whole list, and then you can store it for yourself, which makes it easier to look at. All right, cool, we did that. I'll see you here um, for how to calculate exact probabilities.